watching Book Geeks India, which is a channel where I make book related videos. So guys, in today's video, I bring to you a book review and this book review is going to be of Savi Sharma's latest, Everyone Has a Story 2. As you can understand by the title, the book is the sequel to the book that came out in 2016, which was Everyone Has a Story. Just like the last book, Everyone Has a Story 2 also tells us the story of these four characters Meera, Vivan, Kabir and Nisha. Meera, who is a writer, she is a published writer now and she has written two stories, two successful stories which have turned into best-selling novels. And now she is in a relationship with Vivan for the last three years. The second character is Vivan, who is a travel enthusiast, he likes to escape. He was initially a banker who quit his job because he wanted to escape the routine 9 to 6 job. Third character is Kabir. Kabir is a guy who used to work in a cafe but he wanted to start his own cafe which he did and it runs very very successfully. He's been married to Nisha and they have a baby daughter called Gianna. Finally, the fourth character is Nisha who got married to Kabir. They were in love and they got married. And now she is the mother of Gianna and looks after Kabir and his daughter. Now, when this book starts, three years have already passed since we last heard about them. We last read about them. So, three years have gone in these characters' life and they are kind of happy. But there is another character, a fifth character, who has different plans, who has plans of his own. He is a character who is as powerful a friend, as powerful he is as an enemy. If you still haven't guessed, I won't keep you in suspense for long. This fifth character is Fate. So fate has something very different in store for all these characters and these plans are not pleasant, they are diabolical. So will these four people withstand the challenges, the struggles which fate will throw their way? Will they be able to cope up with their lives? To know this and much more, I think you should read the book. I am not gonna tell you anything further than this because telling you anything more will be kind of giving you spoilers which seriously guys, I don't want to do it. Coming on to the plot of the book, the plot of the book is not fast paced. There is not much in terms of action or adventure. There are a certain number of plot twists and turns. But overall guys, there was not much to keep the reader engaged or hooked on to the book. So in my opinion, I don't think the plot was good. It was just mediocre. Coming to the characters of the book, I think the characters are okay, definitely much better than Savi's last book. Now that being said, there are still certain things which I think leave much to be desired in terms of character development. These characters are sometimes very very impractical, they lack depth and sometimes I am not able to relate to these characters and that's probably the reason why the characters are not great but okay, again mediocre. <laughs> Coming to the writing style of the author, I think the best part about this book is how Savi Sharma has a way with words. She writes beautiful sentences, often her narrations are quote worthy like they are serious quotes which you can take from the book and you know post it on Instagram, post it on Facebook and they seem like so cool, so thought provoking and so profound even. So I really get it when some people say that her books are inspiring. Of course they are because these quotes are just so beautiful. Now talking about whether these quotes can actually make up for uh, the lack of a good plot. I don't think her language, her poetic words, her beautiful quotes, you know, make up for the lack of plot and storyline and characters. She needs to work on that and you know, that is where she fails miserably in this book as well. Another thing which I liked in this book was the personification of fate as a character. So fate also has chapters dedicated to it. He has a voice, he voices his concerns, he voices his own uh, you know chaotic thoughts. So this particular thing was something I really enjoyed in this book because it was refreshing, it was novel and I liked it. That's it. <laughs> climax of the book. The climax is another key cliche guys. Even when we were in the middle of the book, I knew that what is going to happen in the end. So strictly in that sense, climax was a big total cliche. So finally guys, the overall rating. The overall rating that I gave to this book was 3 out of 5 stars. I did that because there are certain things which are good about this book, there are certain things which are really pathetic about this book but overall if you ask me, it will really appeal to people who like light reads, who like easy reads, who are like one book in a year kind of readers. If you don't read many books, this book will not be cliche, it will be inspiring and beautiful and everything else but, but for somebody who reads like 10 to 50 books a year, you don't have to read this book. You will definitely get much better books in the market, it depends on which category of readers you fall in. If you want to check out my detailed review, I will also link it down below in the description box. You can go on my blog and check that out. So that's it from me in this video guys. Thank you so much for watching it. If you enjoyed this video, please 
please don't forget to hit that like also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and please do let me know your thoughts about this review and i really want to know what people think about savi sharma so have you read any of her books did you like them let me know all about it in the comment section below i think it's going to be a fruitful discussion so let's just get started with it i will see you next time and until the next video which will be pretty pretty soon bye